get you see me getting stronger just by your applause? <laughs> to, no, you don't? Um, hi, everybody. Here we are back in Casada Sioux. That's how you pronounce it. I know none of you know how to pronounce it. You'd rather refer to it as that room in fine arts. Um, we're back here for Pizza with Vaughn. We got a great, great show tonight. A, as Jared mentioned to the audience, a simple show, but great nonetheless. We have a band here that has no name that we will be naming, um, and they will be performing. We got a sketch by our expert writing staff that we filmed, and it's going to be extremely entertaining for all of you. Um, lost in all of this crazy move from the shithole that is BTV <laughs> to... I don't know what, I don't even know what to do with that. <laughs> From, to this cathedral. Um, something got lost in all of that. And part of it had to do with the fact that I'm not eating the pizza anymore, but we've, we've sort of shifted our focus from the true star of the show, uh, which is, <laughs> Nurchie's Pizza. It's in this box and has pepperoni on it. It's always meant to be the pizza was the star of the show. And we haven't really talked about it. I haven't been eating it. We had that really weird moment with Gary Truce where he just held the piece of pizza for 15 minutes while he talked to me. <laughs> so the pizza has sort of been brushed aside and I want to bring the pizza back into the forefront. I want to herald the pizza as it has been most recently unheralded. So what I want to do right now, and Jared doesn't even know that this is happening, but I want to call down a, a, a male and a female from the audience, anybody, the first two down here, one dude, one, do you not know if you're male or female? Is that, yes, yes, there's a male, give me a female. Yes, and you sit right here. Okay, don't worry about me, Jared. Get these two. Here's what's going to happen. You need to pay her three compliments without sounding like a creepy serial killer. And you need to pay him three compliments without him thinking you want to have sex with him. Okay. If either of you does it, you get a slice. Okay. Because it's all about the pizza. So we'll go back and forth. Just like it's a conversation, we're at a bar that serves sheet pizzas for some reason, okay? Yeah. It's just very casual, and you would say something like... Hey, those are dope shoes. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, did, you like, did you do your hair like that on purpose? Because I like it a little. Um, thanks, yeah, I, I didn't do it like it on purpose. I obviously don't put as much effort into my hair as you do. You have flowing golden locks. Ooh. <laughs> I, don't know. I think you meant that in like, are you trying to like be an asshole? Obviously my hair looks That's horrible not... today because I haven't washed it in like, you don't, it's not important. <laughs> but... Wait, that's two to two and you're both losing. <laughs> so can we, just, can we take this from the audience? No, you got one more. Okay, um, I enjoy your presence. Oh, no, you lose. Do you have a good one? That's so creepy. Okay. I enjoy your presence. Um, you got one shot at it. Orange? I like it. <laughs> I think that was. That was as she neutral called, she called as me you an could get. Midway through her second compliment. No, but she was supposed to make you not want to have sex with her. Yeah, but it was creepy enough that you win. <laughs> How about a hand for Nurchies, everybody? <laughs> all right, um, so I'm still not going to eat the pizza. You should, all, you should all be holding me in very high regard. This is very difficult to have it right here in my crotch and not have it in my, in my person. Um, pizza with Vaughn, we got great guests. We got... Great sketches coming up, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back. I'm a T. 
teenage girl. My BFF Becky Texan says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem, because I like Johnny. Now, I'm emotionally compromised and whoopsies. I'm all OMG. Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. Dollar for dollar, nobody protects you from mayhem like Allstate. Along with a coating that is a polymer ceramic cross section, um, with the use of new combinations of materials stretching the boundaries of our current technology. We've investigated use of polymers in conjunction with ceramics, connecting the glass to the glass, the concrete to the glass, the steel to the glass, the steel to the steel, the concrete to the concrete. I'm just enjoying your presence. It's just, it's really you keep giving me comfort up here. Um, all of you know about the 72 acapella groups that we have on campus. You, you understand how high a concentration there are of acapella groups here in Binghamton, considering how small, like per capita, it's two acapella groups per human being in Binghamton. Do you understand the ratios that we're dealing with? Well, we kind of wanted to get in on the acapella game, a game that I assume began with the movie Pitch Perfect. I don't know that <laughs> acapella existed before that, um, but we're sort of throwing our hat into the uh, acapella ring with this sketch called The Dual Tones. Enjoy. Welcome to the Dual Tones. Dual Tones. Dual Tones is Binghamton's newest, hottest two person co ed a cappella group. So, what inspired you to start this group? Well, you know, there's like not that many a cappella groups on campus. There's like, there's the 80s one, the Broadway one, the one with like just lesbians, and... Oh, um, the Hebrew one. Oh, right, right, yeah, that one. So like, not really, not enough variety, you know? Well, have you ever considered just trying out for one of those groups? <laughs> no! Hey, Dad? It's a no. No. <laughs> Uh, so how did you guys meet each other? B1. One, two, three, yes! Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now a whole team's fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now a whole team's fucking here. Um, so what genres do you guys perform with? Yeah, um, unlike other acapella groups, we aren't really pigeonholed into one category. Oh. Right, yeah, we sing everything from the classics... Three. She's a good girl. Crazy about dual tongues. She's a good girl. Nah. To the hottest pop hits. Let it go. Let it go. Everything in between. Classical. Everything. Yeah. yeah. Dual tones. Dual tones. One, two, three, four. Five. Now and then I think about the time we were together. <laughs> but you didn't have to shoot! Uh, so tell us about the show. Right, well, you may have heard of the Dollar Show, uh, where a cappella groups try to extort students uh, by taking their money. Um, we, we're not doing that. 
But aren't you guys charging for your show? Right, we are. It's, but it's a nickel. It's the nickel show, and it's being held um, in Lecture Hall 12, which is, you know, it's really about the acoustics. It, if you can just for a second. Ah! See, it just like Way reverberates, better. so Way it's better. better. The crowd really, they love it, so. Her name was Lola. Lola. She was a showgirl. Showgirl. There were flowers in her hair, and her dress cut down to there. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Showgirl. At the Copa. Copa. Copa Cabana. Cabana. The hottest spot north of Havana. Dance with me. It's how a cappella was meant to be heard. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming. Thank oh you guys so much. It means so much to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our shows. Thank you. Thank you. So what's next for Dual Tones? Oh, uh, we're playing the Union next yeah, week. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It's going to be a great show. Yeah, people are talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you see those people over there? Yeah? They're in that Uncharted a cappella group I was telling you about. They are crazy. We're up all night to the sun! We're up all night to the sun! We're up all night to the sun! We're up all night to the We're up all night to 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 And look who I found, the dual tones. Go. It's going down. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better move. You better dance. You better dance. It'll be the night. night. You won't remember. Won't remember. You won't You won't forget. You <laughs> That's the dual tones for you. We'll be right back with Welcome back. We're very excited and happy and honored to have our first musical guest here on the show. And it, this intro is a little difficult because they don't have a name, so I don't know how to introduce them because they're, anything I say you will think is their name. So if I say, this is the band with no name, you'll think that their name is the band with no name. With, uh, who's with me? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Nobody? I can't say, here are two people who play music, because then you'll think that their band name is two people who play music. So for your joy and our pleasure, we're going to give them a name after their performance here. So enjoy.
after this message from your local commercial that we found on the internet. Thank you. Hey, are you going to finish those? Sorry, they're already gone. No, they're not. You left the best part. No, I'm pretty sure they're... Mmm, cheese. I love Doritos. Doritos! Hey, dude. Feed the fish, water the plant. I'll see you next Thursday. And welcome back on this beautiful Thursday morning. Next up, the segment... Grandpa, Mikey, Mikey, Grandpa, I missed you. Yay! Yay! How about these two right here, huh? Give it up for them. That's not the name of their band. These two is not the name of their band. I know you guys are loving that joke, but I'm still going with it. Um, so just a couple questions for you guys. I, I understand you kind of just started collaborating. Is that true? This is true. How true is that? Uh, well, Christine and I have been friends for a while That now. is so cute. <laughs> Uh, we both have uh, our own private projects. Uh, Christine is in uh, the Jean Jackets, and it's a band. real, it's a real band. Yeah, um, that sounds serious. Signed and that sounds We're like not signed. Not you, signed. you sound like an angry band. The Jean Jackets. Yeah, that sounds angry punk, like it can get kind of les kind of lesbian. Well, <laughs> I'm actually the only girl, so I don't know how that's possible. Fair enough. What's your project? I have uh, just a personal project that I around here and creative yeah yeah <laughs> I like this project that we got going right so you got the bebop boop thing yeah I got right the, the MPD uh, now but I noticed in your performance you were only hitting like three of the buttons what do you yes. got on the, you got like uh, elephant other... sound and then like <laughs> puppy being murdered and oh uh, no the other buttons and knobs are for Christine's uh, effects oh that kind of sucks yeah. You should get like fire engine. Like I tried. Christine didn't like boop. Christine wanted to be uh We said we try to save those for a radio now, show. Yeah. By the same token, it makes your voice sound like a ghost angel. Yeah. <laughs> Both angelic and haunting at the same time. Am I am I not absolutely correct in that description? Dan ghost, likes his reverb. Ghost yeah, he he <laughs> reverbed a little too much for my liking. <laughs> I'm sore right here <laughs> from all that reverb. Um, but I, I hope there is a future for you guys More instead cool. of your personal project or whatever that's called. <laughs> that's obviously a waste of time. And the jean jackets. We'll get be... something on the internet. Us too. Good. Look out. But you need a name. Yeah, that's you true. You have to have a name. I mean, that's, that's usually the first day of band practice is what do we fucking call this shit, right? <laughs> So I'm surprised you didn't have that conversation already. We will have that conversation for you. I polled several of my own students and said, what would your band name be if you were in a band? And these are some of the choices that we have. And if you guys like one of these, I'll clear it with whatever jackass wrote it down and we'll get that going. Yeah. Okay. So, and they all sort of hint at a certain type of music too. So if you want to weigh in on what you think that is uh -huh. let's go um so the first one is the pussycat boys <laughs> probably not right because not Maybe. a boy <laughs> it's a gross image though okay. um this one is sparkle puffs with a z which means it's from the streets so sparkle puffs which means it's hardcore sparkle puffs I'll Sparkle Buffs? Maybe. That's a maybe? <laughs> Dirt Nasty Divas. I kind of like that. That's a little... Gen that's, I, I prefer the jean jackets, but... Um, <laughs> that's a little too, again, gender specific. Although, would you consider yourself a diva? 
I could consider myself a diva. Have you ever done this? No. Well, you're not a diva then. <laughs> uh, the Smashing Blumpkins. <laughs> they definitely play. Yeah, you'd have to play like more power slop. <laughs> I, I think, and the just the concept of a smashing blumpkin <laughs> is one that I have nightmares about. Two blumpkins smashing together. This one I really love. Creepy panda. Can can pandas be creepy? Creepy panda. <laughs> right? Do you enjoy his essence? <laughs> Existentialist walrus philosophies. <laughs> That's definitely some douche hipster band. Like you don't want any part of that. They only play music with like rocks. It's just rocks and then someone screaming into them. a microphone. <laughs> Dirty Mark and the boys. <laughs> You like that. <laughs> Dirty Dan and the boys, right? Dirty Dan, yeah. That, this actually sounds more like a, an advertisement for a pedophile. Like, you can put that for your personal Dirty project. Mark and the personal basement projects. boys. Personal projects. Come on down to my basement <laughs> with Dirty Mark. This one's, this one's pretty elaborate. The Deaf Tones, D-E-A-F. Not unlike the dual tones. The Deaf Tones. Get it? My name is Tony, LOL. That's part of the, <laughs> that's part of the title. The Deftones, get it? My name's Tony, LOL. That's pretty postmodern. This is, this is another one. This one could be the winner. Dick. Hey, he loves it. step up my line right here. Dick butt. He likes it a lot. They can be on the side. We're going to see dick butt. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> and you have to say it in that voice. No one will understand you if you say the dick butt. You have to say dick butt. This one's my this is a good one too. Thugs exclamation point. That's <laughs> so like a musical about thugs, I think. Thugs! No? That's a good one. Here's the, here's the, this one, this one's actually could beat dick butt. I like teeth. That's probably the best one yet. Ladies and gentlemen, I like teeth. And then, ghost angel. Anything you want to say to the world about your upcoming projects? Well, well not the world, the seven people we, that watch. I like, I like, uh, what are you? What, what's the death angel? Is that what you're describing? Ghost, ghost angel. Ghost angel. I like ghost angel the most. Ooh. That's not... I get that's royalties. I get it's royalties creepy, for that. It's creepy. It could work. Maybe. It's better than dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> I like teeth is also pretty good. I like teeth. It's up to you guys. You don't have to decide now. I mean, if I was going to be a dentist, then maybe. <laughs> but... <laughs> not helping this interview. <laughs> All right, folks, this is Dick Butt. <laughs> We're happy to have had their debut performance on our show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here, everyone in the crowd. Now come and get your pizza. You guys want some? Yeah.